officially live. I'm gonna have to make a copy order in just a second. Scoring wins the last move. That is what you do. Don't take pride. of the Grand Council of Haven City for heinous and crimes against All the right, people. Alright, got the chat up. You are hereby banished to the wasteland for life. This is a death sentence, Vigor. There must be another way. Your protest was overruled. Mr. Dunkin' Donuts. Or you get coffee in the donut. This is an outrage. Not one I am outraged donut. beyond words. Although I do have something to say. Alright, I'm doing a walk-in because it's always easier. So just... Decree. Walk in, it'll we be on a little tray by the ice cream. Oh, I see you wish to join him. Actually, we are not that we'll outraged. Fine. Farewell, Jack. Why Stay are you walking sun. in like this? Drink lots of water if you can find it. Jack? Go back to the city, Dax. I'm sorry. The council is that. too powerful. There was nothing I... I know. You just stay After alive, you, you hear me? That's an order. Someone will find you. I promise. May the precursors... Nobody respects me. Dexter. Don't thank me. I'm only <sighs> here because you oh, wouldn't no. last a second without me. Even okay, farther and I started streaming at the exact same mess. time. Now you gotta get us out. My uh, audience. What the team will oh, make. Fine. Let's just get moving. <sighs> but which way? Yeah. That way. That way. I mean, he's oh, giving me shout outs and, and I stuff. suppose you know where you're going. He's the one who's always Better like, you do, Ziggy's audio is great. Uh, I'm like, let's just move. I work very hard. Oh boy, and I just gotta... This... Was all water. your stupid idea? That's nah, I'll play a bit ahead of time here. Only a bird brain could have thought this one up. Let's go with him. We'll help together. You mean we'll die together? Oh, bless him. Yeah. I can't. Make these all shiny like they were enchanted. Oh, from My Little Pony. That cat. That cat. I'm already 26% into this game. Holy crap. I'm really ripping through. Listen. I, oh, I remember being here. No, I remember being... Right, this is that little outcropping. Off the city. Cool, cool. Alright, let's, uh... Let's talk to Pee Isn't it time for you ankle biters naps? <laughs> yeah, Rude. whatever. That gun turret used to be the only thing that stood between us and the right, desert's cool Right, right, gun turret. I, I vaguely to remember this. I on that baby. Wanna try to beat me, score? Oh, don't worry. Oh, okay, it's mini game. I like mini games. Hey, Jack. <laughs> oh, sometimes in Jack, mini games are bonkers hard. So I will go up there in just a second. All right. All right. Order placed. Wait. Come on. Place the order. Ah, it froze up. No. Hold on. My copy. Oh, come on. Do the thing. That do the thing. Uh, 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 uh that one. Yeah, it's Apple Pay. I just gotta go, go, go. Grab a the coffee. America runs on Duncan. This is bad. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's actually play here. Apologies, apologies. Bit of a bit of a rough start, but we're 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 going. Here we go. What's the haps? Oh oh oh! Uh, oh. Right, 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 right. The bumper. Oh dang, that's a hard lock on. Oh, you get more. Okay. You actually get quite a bit more for the, uh... For the speed at which you do it than the actual accuracy. What? Wow. He scored 7,000! Oh my god. This is gonna take a while. Nope, maybe not. Green one did work quite a bit. Count as a mi I, I didn't. Hmm? I think they're like play dots, they're just like targets. For fun. 
they do got some sharp blades on them. Yeah, the lock on. Look at this. This is very generous. Oh, that was plain. Just a surprise. New games are usually so generous. It's not always so stingy with me. At least the Jack games, they're, they're gonna be so tricky. Come on, get it. There we go. Yeah. Crap, crap, crap. Yeah. No. Ah, uh, the green. Woo. No misses yet. That's good. Oh, okay. Roll over 4K. Oh, let's get it. Okay. Ah, ah, no! Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, that's nice. That's okay. I got up to 5,000 before I even got one of the 10 misses I'm allowed, so. I appreciate that if you just shoot into the air, it doesn't count it as a miss. It's only if the, the thing hits the water again. Okay. Whoops. Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah. The colors are not accurate. Yahoo! Yes! Oh, oh, I did it. I did it. I'm a champion. So, you nippers walloped me score. Fine. The top poppy <sighs> has to be snipped sometime. Tall poppy guys All the land shit. says the top, top gunner holds a special trophy in honor of their skill. This crystal's oh, nice. yours now, but I'll be getting it back soon That's not, See, I like that. It's like they're antagonistic, but it's more like a friendly rivalry than like... Everybody being mean. I just uh, this game is so good. It took them it took them three tries to really nail it, but they doggone it they did. Ooh, a challenge. What is this challenge? Are you Gibbig? Are you Gibbig? What are you? Oh, trade. Oh, four of them? Heck yeah. Heroes must have got four. Feet. Get to this spot in time for a reward. Egg. Green egg. Oh, snap. Ah, uh, time limit. I think it's over here. To the left. Did you see it? it like, uh, well, it was green, but are you talking... No, that's a different one. Although I will go get that. Whoops! No, I won't. <laughs> no! Yashi! Uh, yeah, let's try that again. Show it to me? Okay. I... Yeah, that's where I was thinking. I got it! Yeah, there it is. Whee! Ooh! I think he just said excellent, but still. You can now afford oh, secrets. Where are my secrets at? Where are my secrets at? Secrets. Shh, don't tell nobody. Oh, these are actually, like, useful. Ooh. Well, okay, maybe not <laughs> super useful. Cleaver's diaper? I'm not looking to change that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save up for that. Let's save. Why not? Oh my god, that was one percent. That those two tiny missions. This game's real short. I appreciate it over the last game where it was just like it, it would not be that long if it, you didn't have to run back and forth across the mostly empty city. Like yeah, there were people and stuff, but like there was nothing to do. Watch out! Watch out, bud! Watch out, little kangaroos. Kangaroos? Ooh, another one. Where are you? Ah, him. How many you want? Eight. I got eight. Heroes must 
show now you fast can thinking them. to go with their fast movement. Beat this ring challenge for reward. Okay, where am I? Oh, 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 okay. Uh, it's a ring. Whoa, did not give you a lot of time. Oh my goodness. That's not like any time at all. Oh, crap. Crap, yep. I saw it right as I... Ah, I messed it up. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I miss this, man. Do you remember when playing like arcade racing games where they got the checkpoints? This is the one game that I, I really want to stream sometime. Uh, Lamborghini Automobile. Just, it's just like... Great! <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it just with the tiny tip of my, my little head. Um... It's just like a Lamborghini-based racing game. Uh, it's fine. It's pretty slow. I just played it a lot as a kid because my uncle had it. Um, and it has that system of the checkpoint, despite being like an N64 game. And I've also been on PlayStation. Um, I gotta just play more racing games, I think. That's really the conclusion I've come to, is that I have the most fun streaming racing games, and I can get better at them so that I don't, you know... That's the thing. Yeah, it's like, I can be just like... A, an unimpressive racing streamer, but like, you know what? Whatever, if I'm having fun, I'll get better. I should, I should just go back specifically to playing through Mario Kart. I, I was pretty far into that. I was like, I think halfway through the 150cc races. It's just hard because you have to do a run where you get first place in all four races. And it's like, if you get to like the third race and end up in second or worse, it's like, I have to do those first two again. But you know what? Dale Earnhardt probably said the same thing. Dick Trickle probably said a similar thing. That's a real man. You think they learn how got a chance? Oh, yeah, it all got a chance. Remember that? It's funny. It's quite humorous the way he speaks. See, I'm actually doing the side missions in this one because, well, yeah, they're kind of frivolous. It's like they're actually fun. I get to ride Lizard. I think that alone makes this 10 out of 10 for me. I was listening to uh, the Grumps play Super Mario World, and that was one of the early ones Danny did. That was like the first year. And they were like, he was like, this game's like great. It's like 5 out of 5. No, I killed the other lizard. I didn't mean to. I just jump on him. Um. Danny was like, it's 5 out of 5, or I guess I should say 10 out of 10, and everyone was like, it's 10 out of 10! Yeah, that's pretty much, that's what we say. It's like, oh, And a lot of the comments were like, anyone else sad that he didn't finish <laughs> saying it? And it's like, yeah, that was also at the point, um, where, ah, oh, there's so many egg up there. Coco, do you see them? I think so, I gotta do something funky. Um... Yeah. Also, they were talking about uh, something called Porn Star Karaoke, which I guess is probably some event that the, the does or used to be done in LA, but actual porn stars go, I guess. And Danny was mostly talking about meeting the porn star Siri. Um, but then one of the comments was like, uh, "Anybody else curious what Porn Star Karaoke is? Because like they didn't." Right? But there was no answer. Nobody came into the comments. And then, like, one of the comments... So that comment was from, like, eight years ago. And then another comment from, like, eight months ago was like, Hey, I know I was, like, chilling in first grade when you made this comment. But, like, I'm also curious. It's like, dang, son. The kid's 14 now. Everybody wonders about porn stars. That's just part of life. You've never wondered about a porn star? Never thought... I think I'm just supposed to go along that rail. I'll do that another time. Uh, Corey just brought my, my coffee. Thank you, Corey. 
I'm gonna go do... I'm... Yeah, mm, yes. I'm gonna go do this work thing while there's still not a ton of viewers, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. I'll be right back with more Jack 3 in just a minute. Okay, okay. Talk to y'all in just a minute. D -d -d -d. And we're back with more Icky Kid Twitch streams! Uh, this game also runs a lot better than the other ones have. Like, the frame rate, it, it dips once or twice, but like, for the most part, it's like, it's pretty solid. What? I, well, listen, they were all on PlayStation 2. How vast. 
that? That's fair. Um, look at this. Look at this absolute unit. I love this guy. I would love a leaper lizard plush, dude. Dude, with that like kind of pebbly fabric. Mmm, it's good stuff. Oh yeah. Oh my Godzilla plush. We don't have Godzilla on the tree this year. We got Montgomery Gator from the upcoming Security Breach. I always tuck one of my, one of my guys. That's like uh, next Friday, right? Okay, so it's next Thursday. Um, yeah, we got that coming. This Friday, they're putting Paper Mario on the N64 expansion pass, which is awesome. I haven't... The thing is, I played it back in the day and never got past, like, the first star that you save. And then I played it on stream, but I was, like, really focused on just getting through it because it was, like, part of the, the long marathon of all the Mario games, all the Mario RPGs, so I, I'm super stoked to just do a casual playthrough of that game and just like check out everything, make all the taste teas recipes. You bring her the food, she cook her the food. Greetings, oh, thanks for the, the big old fighters. sum. The I don't one, know what that is. The only, the greatest highness of all highnesses, the magnificent, Origami King's pretty good. Enough. Just get on with it. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. Did I mention how fabulous your hair looks? Back up! Yes, right. Another round of games has been called. This is combat to the death. Yeah, it's like the original is classic. Thousand Year Door is am amazing. I still haven't actually played through much of Thousand Year Door, but every bit I've played, I'm like, oh, it's good. Um. Oh, got it. Got to test it out. Oh, yeah, we got this guy. Oh, he's firing into the gallery! <laughs> oh snap, it drops little shells now. That's cool. Um, but then, yeah, they made Super Paper Mario, and it had like the 3D to 2D mechanic, which was pretty neat, but overall was not anything special. And then the, um... Yeah, they did Sticker Star and Color Splash, and those were just really... Really underwhelming. The big thing that people were annoyed about is that all the NPCs and all were toads. It was just toads. Whereas previously, one of the biggest things about the uh, other two games is that your your uh, your companion was always one of the original enemies from Mario, right? And then like they kind of changed that a little bit in Thousand Year Door because you can get a Yoshi little guy. A diaper baby. I think he's a diaper baby. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's freaking great. I love all those guys. Um, it makes the world feel lived in. I always love when in, uh, the Mario games, they, like, take the time to, like, characterize. Origami King was a little better about that. Um, Right, yeah, they didn't really get their own designs. Oh, crap, crap, crap. I don't know if I have time. Oh, yeah. Um, like, they, they're they all just a standard version, you know? It's just Kamek, it's just a babam, but... Yeah, I didn't mind that too much. The only real problem I have with Origami King is how stupid obnoxious the friggin' tutorials are. Oh my god, it's such a pain. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like that, like, I don't know, I feel like they could have combined all of that into like one or two battles, but instead they teach you like one thing. It's like a full, like, three-minute battle, and it's just like, you gotta hit this to select, and it's like, Christ, I get it, dude. I don't know, I feel like just having the option in the menu, like, they could patch that in of just, like, do you want the tutorial or not? At, at least, like, after you've played it, you know, let you unlock that. That'd be good. Oh, 
jeez. Oh, jeez. This is pretty dicey. Ah, dang it. I got down to nine again. Okay, this is when they're starting to get pretty hard with the tournaments. Or the... Whatever they call this, uh... They did call me the video game boy back in the day. I was able to get a thousand points on Gauntlet. Sorry, it's from Good Game, that, uh... YouTube Red show that the Grumps were in. It's pretty good. Now, oh, mainly because it's, it's Dan Harmon. I mean, great dude. That's the thing, the Grumps weren't even originally going to be in it. Like, they... They auditioned, like... They actually took the time to, like, take acting classes so that they could try out, and they were like, yeah, you guys... You guys got it. It's like, awesome. It was mostly Jesse Cox and, um, another, like, eSports players show with Dan Harmon. Uh, and then the drums definitely, like, you can tell, like, there's a lot of the kind of jokes that they make. Oh my god! It's the fact that they have guns now that's really throwing me off. They were only melee before, and they went down like nothing, but now they're, like, taking pot shots at me. They keep hitting me with them. Oh, just gotta keep moving! Run, run, run! Oh. Um... But yeah, one of the guys... Basically... Uh... The plot is that they're... Forming an esports team... And... Uh... They're... Behind on their rent, but then they convince their landlord to join the esports team. And he's just like, they, my dad did always call me the video game boy, I played Gauntlet all the time, and I got like a thousand points, which is not impressive, to be clear. <laughs> um, and they, they basically are just buttering him up the whole time, like, yeah, you're great, dude, anyways, uh, can you finance our esports team? And he's like, yes, yes I will. Eventually they do, like, come clean, and they're like, ah, fine, here, random lady, you play Gauntlet, and she plays, and he's like, oh my god, she beat my high score, and he's like, yeah, and she has zero experience. Like, ooh. But then they're like, we'll teach you to be better, and they do. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fun, pretty fun. Um, it's got some good stuff. Jesse Cox is like the the notch char type character. He's basically the guy who designed the the uh, not MMO. It's the it's the League of Legends. Mo yeah, he designed the MOBA, but he's like a big old recluse, and he's like, I hate my lord. He, he's thankfully not racist. Like, Notch. Listen, his character isn't racist, at least. I mean, unless they make a season two and reveal him to be racist. Yeah, they always, they always have that option, I guess. Although, YouTube Premium is going... YouTube, YouTube Premium's going down because they're doing, like, YouTube TV. I'm pretty sure they folded a lot of it into that. I think all the YouTube Premium shows have gone free now. Good, game. Good Games was, it's only, like, five episodes, and this is Dan Harmon comedy. I don't like that a major plot point in one of the episodes is that they accidentally run over a possum. It's, a, it's an accident, and they give him a proper funeral. So, that's good. I know, it was an accident. Um, and I don't think they actually show the possum. So, I appreciate that, but... Yeah, it made me sad. Wait, why am I not using my ricochet gun? I totally forgot I had it. The ricochet from, uh, Mucha Lucha. There is an actual, like, luchador. Who's named Ricochet? What? The, who are you? Sick? what? Hey, wait a minute! Master. I thought you looked familiar. Don't you two. From the Sorry. last game, what's he doing what are you here? Doing here? Honing my skills. Let's finish this. Whoa! Come on, Sick. You I snuck out here to be in an Don't arena battle? Rule of the arena. Oh Some no! Uh oh. Only one man leaves. This is awful. And I guess we don't count Baxter. He's a mascot. No! One must destroy the other. Complete the test or face uh, worse Dude, pain. I immediately... I'm very invested. 
He, I, no, you need just the basic <laughs> of last one. Sig was one of the only like really cool characters from last one. I got annoyed because How he was in one of those friggin' like um, escort Sig, missions, but like. Time in Haven City has you, and no, you, he's from the last come. game. You deserve no mercy. I should toss you both. Yeah, into the yeah, yeah, he's the, the Phil Lamar. Okay. Yeah, and it's like I'm pretty sure he's a, a former like Praxis guard. But only this once. A spy. Worked Just worked for the tell you stinky later. fat boy in the floaty chair. Who I'm pretty sure is like our artifact carriers for some time. A field reference to um and take out all the creatures you find Doom. inside. I'd say good luck. Dune. Yes, I was gonna say Baron Harkonnen. That's the thing. They never they never explicitly say it in the movie, but basically He's got those suspenser devices, which the, like, floating lamps are the same technology, and it's supposed to be so that he only, like, feels like he's about 50 pounds so that he can actually walk. It's basically like a, uh, an accessibility device. But then he, he turns them up and he go, oh, I'm floating. He is, to be clear, quite evil. I know. I love the the wide range of difference. Where in the da David Lynch one, he's like bopping along, like he drinks some fizzy lifting drinks, and he's like ha ha ha, ha bounce, 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 and it's all silly and like super brightly lit. And then in the new Dune, he's just like oh, like super, super dramatically like lifting. And it's like oh, okay. Just, just shows the very different I ideas. Thought, I have to admit, I thought it's just legs. It's just crazy spider legs. <laughs> no. Have, like, he does. Head. Yeah, he has the bit long robe. Oh, this is a new one, I think. Right? No, I think I did it. No, this is new. It's the Gila Stompa. Yeah, I don't think I've used this specific one. Oh yeah, you have a. Oh, you can shoot from the back. That's super useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow! Woo! It's true. Listen, they sh they shot first. I need them for boosters. Can you get my boost? I didn't pick it up. No, he picked it up. Get down, get down here. I get he, he like. Flash like I do when I pick him up, so I can pick him up. Ah, boom. Ah. Right. Um. Yeah, the big thing with the David Lynch Dune is basically when it gets to the point where the recent one ended everything goes off the rails and they just speed through what would be the rest of the book yeah i don't know david lynch says it's like i really did not like working on that and part of it is just his process is not conducive to the like big budget action hollywood thing like he it, it, he goes into this in, uh, they made, like, a short documentary series when he was making Twin Peaks The Return. And there's a point where they're, like, discussing their shooting schedule. And at one, and they're, like, talking about it, and they're like, we have two days here. And he just, like, he, he just, like, has an outburst. He's just like, I, I, I hate that shit. I can't, I don't have any time to dream. I want, like, a week there. So, oh, sorry. Let me say it properly. I want time to dream. We had like a week we could go in there and dream some stuff, but I would got so little time. I hate that shit. And it's like, yeah, that's the thing is he's he just doesn't work well under like time restrictions or like budget restrictions. And by the end, like the studio the hacked up his version of Dune. And then they made like a TV version that's like three hours, and he hated that version so much he asked to be uh, credited as Alan Smithy. Right? An actual Alan Smithy production. Oh, oh it's these little guys! Pop. 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 They're like the flood. Right? A little floody? Mm. 
And there's only that one place to get Boba in town. Saigon, and it's like... It's okay, I guess. That's why we haven't been to the mall since, like, before the pandemic. It's true, Kung Fu Tea... I guess, I don't know, I kind of like the, like, powder mixes that they use at the mall one. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here, I'm just popping boys. Well, th this is where the way uh, marker was, so I'm just... There's not a... there's no waypoint in here, as far as I can tell. Hold on. Hold on, it's probably like outside the city in the last game, right? No, no waypoint, but let's see where I can leave here. Watch it. I came from that ramp. Leading the way deeper in. Swish. Swish. Oh, oh, wait. There's some waypoints. There's the haps cap. Take him out. Green, which is usually nice. That doesn't look nice. Yeah, there we go. We're blasting. Oh my god, the vehicle combat is so much better. I think part of it is just that you—it's not just Daxter like taking pot shots from your shoulder while you're trying to desperately keep things going. Oh, and the aim assist is amazing. I, that was only like a friggin' 45 degree cut that they let me do. Oh my god, yeah, the aim assist is incredible here. As well it should be. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. I was commissioned by a guy or something. Uh, my commission? My commission's to murder some dragon boys. Do I just make apologies? Oh, I'm stuck in the mud. <sighs> mud. Mud and... Forward. Ah, uh, we're so bloody. eggs. Like, I mean, like, in shape. Watch it. No, no, not these vials. It was, like, a different thing that I shot down. Oh, if they pop back up, I'll show you. No, how do I get out? Where's the ramp? Where's the old ramp? Oh, Oh, hit. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. Um, I'm quite noted down. Yes, yes, the, like, auto move for elevation is the biggest part of this. The last game, holy crap, if something was above you, you just had to desperately hope that you were at the right distance. It's not working. Oh, jeez, I'm, I'm, I lost a lot of health because they're shooting at me. So slow. Back up here. There's probably a better, better way around. Oh yeah, there's like a bridge I gotta go over. Hold up, hold up. For the IGG. Easy money. It's me. These right there. You see that? See what I mean? Look, like frog game. Are you aware? Oh. Nice. Uh, okay, how do I get over now? I gotta figure out how to on this bridge. That, that, the I, G Y. Oh, uh, who is that? Who is that? That's correct. I think that just broke behind me. That's not good. 
I'll be okay though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gotta get out. Oh no, poison. Oh jeez. Woo, this is exciting. Oh god. No, don't shoot me. Oh man, my health is so low. I really really got too reckless here. I don't even have like a house or anything. I didn't in the last game either though. They never like implied like, oh you're staying here or something. No. It was like several weeks or something. I appreciate they did address that in um in uh Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, because they have all those missions where you gotta, like, do different tricks or whatever to, like, get pieces for the skate park you're building. Uh, but there's, like, one point where it's like, dude, do a big old drop onto this, like, nasty mattress. Also, drag that mattress with you, because you're gonna need a place to sleep. And he's like, that's pretty nasty, but it's better than nothing. It's better than ground, I guess. It's like, dude, just some skanky-ass mattress you found under a bridge? That's, that's some crust punk business right there. American Wasteland. It, but, I mean, there were a ton of those missions. That was just one specific one that really stuck out to me. It was that. It was that one. And there was also the one where you're like walking around and you run into some dude and he's like, Would you like to learn parkour? And it was, you're just like, Yeah, sure. And he's just like, Do the duck in the front. By doing you're still X with us. X. I'm impressed. And you destroy the metal headaches. I suppose mercy It's like is one order. specific and mission of one specific dude, you and he just teaches you how to do up, all the like parkour time, moves. Like so flips and stuff. Never again defile the arena. There's also the all the the BMX stuff, which I'm pretty sure was uh Yeah, the BMX part's great. Yeah, I I want them to remake that. Yeah, like a remake or a port or something. The problem with the porting Tony Hawk is always, though, that, uh... It, the licensing the music. Which I feel like... As much as it feels like it's superfluous, it really isn't. The soundtrack is so... Ep oh, damn it. Oh, I'm pretty sure... Ah, oh, no! Where did Checkpoint me at? Uh... Okay. Um, it's so integral to the experience of playing Tony Hawk that it has that soundtrack, you know? I gotta be bopping around to, like, some suicidal tendencies, some friggin' violent femmes. Oh, totally, dude. California, Uber Alice, California. That was one of my favorites. I mean, that's actually pretty common. Like, even, uh, friggin', um, Rob Paulson on his podcast was talking because his son works in video games. Uh, I think it, like, uh, Bandai Namco. But he was like, uh, he was like, I honestly don't even listen to the sounding games anymore, even though I work in them. But, for the Arkham games, it's like, I mean, Mark Hamill, Kevin Conroy, Batman Joker, hmm? No, but they do the voiceover. It's part of the soundtrack. It's part of the track that has the sound on it. Legally. Jack, this is Ashlyn. I'm glad you're still alive. Ooh, which one? I'm I picking the Moon Hopper, baby. Listen, I've got to see you immediately. I landed out by the Oasis, but I don't have much time. Please, come find me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at the time when it came out, I basically had like three albums that I would listen to on loop. It was like Poodle Hat by Weird Al, Apostrophe by Frank Zappa, and American Idiot. Like, I just have those and I had like a five CD changer, so I just listened to them in a cir uh, circuit, basically. 
but for that game, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna listen to the music. So good, man. Gotta get a PS2. I gotta wait until after tax season. This is the big thing. Tax season might have some unexpected costs this year. I'll probably be okay. But, I'm definitely, you know, trying not to make any huge purchases. Although, granted, the game I pre-ordered a couple days ago is more expensive than uh, a PS, yeah, PlayStation with Tony Hawk. Ooh, Silent Hill is pretty good, yeah. Um... The... Yeah. Also, the, the board game I pre-ordered, they haven't collected the funds yet, so technically it's not a cost yet. Hey, baby! You thought you'd dump me, huh? I knew well, you'd you know what they say, once you... once you... Okay, look. we don't need that angle on her. Ashley, um, what are you doing here? Once you pledged it, it's, good to see it's gone. You. Listen, Tuts, you left us in the desert, so talk to the tail. Cause the whiskers. Oh, uh, I'm also going to be traveling, and traveling gets that expensive. Trying to, going to try and keep it under 200 you. bucks. He doesn't miss much in this desert. You know, How do you know him? Just for like souvenirs and meals and things, Jack, but I need you to come back to the city. The whole dang We're week. losing the fight. Vigor is drunk on power and he's taken command. He doesn't understand what he's up against. <coughs> I need you. Look out! Yeah. I mean, Longview isn't that far away. You'd probably have to rent a car. But what you could do is the uh, boat bus. That's the thing they have in. Um, that's the thing they specifically have from Seattle to like Portland area, which is it's like. Like five bucks. It's like incredibly affordable because it's like it's four commuters. And it's basically just like a reverse greyhound. You have to get there real early. That's how it is. Um, that's how it is. Like doing just a regular bus system from Seattle to Stanwood. It's like there is a bus that just goes straight there and basically takes, I mean, just takes, like, the amount of time it takes to drive, it's non-stop, but it's only goes to Seattle at, like, 5 in the morning and leaves Seattle at, like, after work hours, so it's pretty funny. Am I supposed to just take them out, or... This is Ashley, if you still don't remember. She's the hot one. You remember? You remember? You get turbo this one too. This is basically just like power defense with power moves. I uh, yes, that was my implication, I think. For checking it. I'm still a piece of garbage. Yeah, well, that's like an animation effect. Specifically. So we good? I, I got all the number down. Do we want to get in the car now, Ashlyn, or what? Where are we dropping? The car's all the way over here. Uh, take them out. Jack still moves like a friggin' bucket of molasses. Look how slow this fucking guy is. Yes! Hopefully it works. Because I've heard that it's just super broken in these ports. Like sometimes you, your car will just spawn in without wheels. <laughs> Kira wanted me to give you this. Okay, Jack, don't. Your friends need you. These angles. Need she ain't even like thick. The city threw me out, remember? They can rot for all I care. But what about your... Get it! 
just leave. I yeah. So the hero I That's a racing that. game too, so that's kind of a big deal. That. Don't you remember who you are? If someone wants to touch you in a Save place that you don't want them to, that's no good. <laughs> What was the one? It's like they're about to be attacked by a bunch of dudes, and Tails is like, Help! Call 911! And Sonic's like, No way, Tails! And then he, like, takes him out and he's like, This isn't a real emergency! And it's like, When you're gonna be attacked by a bunch of adults? And robots? I feel like that is a perfectly reasonable time to call 911 <laughs> if you're a child. <laughs> Yeah, it's not an emergency because Sonic was there. Oh no. Oh no, the water! Whoa, 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 whoa! Bouncing. Ugh. Ooh, going from sand to like not sand. It's, it's just such different feeling to the terrain. Which I really appreciate them like programming. Wait, this is the way I gotta go. Gotta do a quick cater. Oh geez. That's the that's the big thing is you will just drift so hard in the sand. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, later boys. Like you, you just skid out all the time on the sand if you take a turn too hard. Woo! Okay, oh you don't actually need to take too long to load that up. That's good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh, I'm rolling. Okay, there we are. Woo! Oh, okay. By my bin. Ooh, literally. Oh, uh, uh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that's a long one. Perkmar? Which one? You are like partway through three Pokemons right now. <laughs> oh yeah, you never finished Moon, huh? Or Alpha Sapphire, whichever one I got. Or Ultra Moon. You've never finished a Pokemon, have you, Coco? I finished two Pokemons. Black and Black Two. No. Oh. Oh, okay. I do like Gen 2 a lot. Watch. Wow! This is Maggie. I wonder how I... I was about to say, I wonder how I get up there. Um... Unfortunately... This is not infamous where you can just... Yeah, you just keep hitting jump and he just finds a handhold somewhere. Right. Well, that's the thing is they tried to make it look like he was parkouring, right? So they basically set up all these specific points that you can latch onto. But if you just mash it, you just quickly scoot up all of those, and it looks silly, but it's way more efficient. Uh, what am I? Hold on. What am I actually meant to do here? Going through the doors. Uh oh, wait a minute. I think that eyeball's gone now. I hope it is, otherwise I'm gonna get spiked! Okay. I'm safe. Safe! I'm die here! Feels like someone wants to sell me something! Ah. Oh, these guys. Come on. Wow! Oh. Two now. Oh, that's just wrong. I don't think that hurts them. Um, jelly beans. Lemon flavor. Yummy. Yo, you know what my favorite jelly bean is? It's a tie between the toasted marshmallow and the butter popcorn jelly bellies. They're so great because they're, it's like, they're so unique, but they work. Like they literally taste exactly like what they say they are. They're so delicious. Nonsense. 
I think that it's also that Jelly Belly just has the best texture of any jelly bean. They're very glossy. I'm not a fan of jelly beans except for jelly bellies. Those ones I go I go ham on some jelly bellies. Dude, if you ever go to San Francisco Um to the Jelly Belly Factory. I mean, it's there. You may as well. Uh, you can get by the pound the, the like misprint jelly bellies, basically. That where it's like this is like a clump of three jelly bellies. This is uh, this is like a red jelly belly that tastes like the uh, oh, friggin' grape. That's the ticket. That's the real. Right? Yeah, it's, it'll basically be like, we messed up the flavor, we messed up the coloring, or they just clumped up weird. So rather than, rather than just throw them out, they just sell them to people on tours. And it's fairly cheap. Well, I immediately died there. What do I got? <laughs> 69 ammo. <laughs> Again, I keep forgetting to use my <laughs> a ridiculous ricochet gun. In hallways like this? Look at that. Look at how ridiculous that is. Okay, don't then. Miss out. <laughs> she do be doing some nonsense. It does use up a lot of ammo. Oh. Actually, good question. Guess we'll never know. I don't know. Oh wait, it's the light eco. Which you can use to heal. How do I heal? Yes. Oh no! What the four skull gems just hanging out in a pot? Now I can't look. No, not that kind of Cory, not that kind of pot. Not that kind of pot! Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Supposed to do something there? Uh, <gasps> Woo! Wicked Winterborn, baby! Let's see if it controls. Uh, it didn't tell me. Oh, I got it. It does give you a little extra height. I guess you got it. Can't see the, the shadow on the water. To me, give, give me the stuff. Give me the stuff, bro. Whatcha? Oops, that was too much, but okay. Whoa. 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 This was something Bread Sword mentioned in his video about the series. He was like, it's really incredible that they included a skateboarding like mechanic. Because in GTA, every GTA understandably has like some element of like skateboards are around um like there's they like most of them have some kind of skate park or skate area and like with like graffiti and stuff but you can never skateboard and he's like it uh, it makes sense like it's already so ambitious to make like a big open world game my point with Jack 2 is I wish they hadn't done that and instead focused on making one of their vehicles feel good rather than making both of them feel bad because they didn't focus, but, you know. If you do not fuck us, you do not fuck us. We oui, be. Oui. If we are here with our anus, in the crowd. <laughs> we want the crowd to feel happiness. So dumb. <laughs> I do appreciate that he had a whole bit to go with the fact that he just like. So, all right, everyone, are you ready for the French show? 
just like, why don't you have a good French accent? Boy. He was ready to go with that. Oh, it's hopping. I don't know where they're at. Was it very scary? Whoa! Yeah, that was that was messed up. That's probably why you shouldn't clump your pigs. But how am I supposed to my pigs? Give them a bigger pen, Coco. You're you're friggin'. You're battery caging them. They need space. What is this factory farm nonsense you got going on? Man, this coffee's really big. Uh, no, I got an extra large. Because it's like, it's $2 for the medium holiday blend, but I'm like, you know what? It's only like a dollar more for, yeah, an extra large, so friggin' why not? Like, that's the thing, the iced coffee is like so much more expensive for no reason. Like, all, it's less coffee, it's just ice. Um, I guess it's because it includes milk. But, uh, yeah, the hot coffees. Uh, I mean, considering they get the coffee in bulk... Yeah, but milk is a, is a, is because it goes bad quicker. It is a, a more precious commodity. Parmesan. Parmesan. Uh, yeah. This should be good. Okay. Yeah, let's wait until the avocado is ripe so we can do avocado. But sadly, your coming may be too late. You will soon I actually might have to shift some stuff downfall. around because I d the chicken is frozen. I fear we no longer can unfreeze it, but yeah, I'll resist. probably. Behold the pure power of light. Yeah, I might switch it for like one of the helpers. I did spend a lot of time cooking moment. yesterday. I got another light, Eco. Light check, flash freeze. Oh, ha, ha, cool. Oh, okay, it doesn't actually like fully freeze it, but. Oh. Ooh. Nice. He's all blue. Clapping. Whoops. I meant to undo it. There we go. Nice. Nope, that's incorrect. I can't be... Dark Jet, don't skate. No! Ah, oh, you son of a butt. What the hell? I guess I just felt it. God damn it. Dark Jack, don't skate! That's the thing, you don't gotta balance when you're grinding, but actually convincing it to grind is always the real issue. No balance, baby. Excuse me for that noise. I don't know what my phone. I really don't think that that's far enough to warrant that. I guess, yeah, that's probably why it is. So that you don't. That's the thing, is like sometimes you can be pretty far away and it will snap you to the grind, and other times you can be pretty close and it just won't do it. Proud of you, you did it, good job, good job, proud of you, good, good work, good job, you did it, you did it, good job. Ha, ha! Oh. Those holes are very close together. Whoa! A little jump in the middle. Put a little sneaky on me. Oh no! Oh wait, I gotta use my new ability. I appreciate this. It makes me think of, like, uh, Shovel Knight every time you get a new relic. 
Um, there, oops. Mm. There's a neat little tutorial area where you, you, like, get the relic, you do the thing to get, like, a special, like, some kind of special item, and it, like, gives you time to try it out. This is quite difficult. You do be clapping. Prank. It's just. Oh, okay, some more. Some more juice. Like it slows down, but just like not enough. Ugh. And judging where. Ah, fuck. Where on the platform, like, when it's too steep? It's pretty difficult. Ah, god damn it! Okay. Boom, clap, I need a nap, then I sleep goes on and on and on and on and on. Fuck! Every time it's just slightly too steep. Oh, god damn it. It'll be just, like, slightly too steep right before I was about to jump. It's just so goddamn hard to judge. Ah! And, like, slowing stuff down helps a little bit, but it's like... Shit, dude, this is still really hard. Ah, shit. 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 Okay, finally made it across. Let's re-up re on the juice. A little bit of milk. Uh, okay, this one has more blades. Blades are for skating. Yeah, dingus. Oh god, it starts me at the... The checkpoints are much more generous in this game. Which, I, I feel like that's just a trend in gaming in general. It's like autosave and checkpoints have gotten more... More generous. Ah, frick! I did it too early that time. No. Sukubliet. Sukubliet. that it goes so fast that it looks like it's fuck that it's turning in the opposite direction frick dude this is so hard Ugh. it's cause it's fucking platforming these the platforming in these games despite being platform adventure games has always been really bad oh my god This is so unforgiving, like the second you hit the friggin' thing, you're just done for. Like it's just so wibbly and you can't, literally can't walk in a straight line because it'll be too... Oh. Dangerous, damn it! I haven't even gotten past this first ring more than a couple goddamn times! God damn it! Like, I feel this is a- this should be a test of how good your fucking controls are. Can you walk straight fucking forward? Can you do a simple tutorial section? Having played through- Two goddamn games with the same controls already. Like, literally, I've played the other two games in the series. These controls are the same, and I s it's still fucking garbage. The vehicles control good again, so I'm happy for that, especially considering there's more of a fucking focus on them! Every goddamn time, it's like I do the exact fucking ah. 
I'm succeeding, I'm succeeding, doing the exact same thing, and then just out of nowhere, oh, nope, it, it just stops working. I just can't fuck it, it just doesn't work anymore. Despite it working for the rest of the goddamn thing, like, I don't know what the hell else I'm supposed to do. Jumping along seems to be a bad idea. Walking along is a bad idea because there's no fucking... You just slip and slide on the fucking slope. It's moving too quickly to fucking, like... Fuck! This should not be this fucking hard and there's like another section after this. Like, I... I, I the worst thing, the worst fucking thing a fucking game can do is make you feel stupid. I fe it fe it's making me feel like I'm fucking bad at this. I'm not bad at fucking platforming games. I feel like my fucking other streams can prove that. Like, I'm pretty goddamn good at platforming. These fucking controls suck! Oh my god, come on! Like, this should be so goddamn simple! S look at that! It's like, literally, if it's tilted at all, it's a 50-50 whether you're just gonna fucking slide off. Like, you have to go on it when it's, like, fucking perfectly flat, but you have to move between them, and it's like they move fast enough that you have to constantly jump, but not fast enough that you're fucking gonna be guaranteed to not be on a steep-ass slope on the other side and just slide off. This is a horse shit, man. Who the fuck? Who the fuck playtests these games? Every there, every single one of these games has at least one part where I'm like, what? Who the fuck playtested that? Who the fuck watched someone playtest that and was like, yes, that is a fair fucking thing that won't piss off every person who tries it. Like, it's fucking nonsense, dude. There is no fucking point. Or rather, there's always a fucking point where I'm like, this is ludicrous. Who fucking, like, designed this fucking portion this poorly? Okay, I think- FUCK! Again, it's like, you gotta basically jump forward to whichever one is as flat as possible at the moment, although they're always gonna be at least a little s tilted. And if you fucking mess up by the fraction of a fucking inch and end up sliding onto the fucking one that is too steep, you're just fucked. There we go. Fucking Christ! Ugh. You'd think after three fucking games, they'd learn not to do that shit. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, oh, actually, this is pretty cool. Oh, God. oh, okay. There's an eco well. I appreciate that they brought back the eco wells. This is. Okay, this is pretty sick. Whoa! Woohoo! Oh, jeez. I might have been taking that a little slow. Yeah, I took it a little slow. Still, I, I like that. See, this is a cool use of the power. The fucking. Whatever fucking twisties that I was just doing, obnoxious as hell. I was trying to do the twirl jump, or the spin, roll, roll jump, but I don't think it lets you roll in that, in that mood. Whoa, damn! Okay now. Look at them, they're smiling, they're happy again, Coco! My boys! Ooh, zoomer! Ooh, it's a zoomer! Alright, uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. It's been about an hour since my last break. So don't go anywhere, don't touch the internet dial. BR back with more Jack 3 in just a minute, okay? Okay, give me just a minute now. Give me just a minute.
Okay. Y'all Minecrafting over there, and I'm over here being a Chad in Jack... Chad 3. I don't know. Oh my god, is it a, the, the boomer it's runs? Like, like the or the, the, the Zuma runs? The where do they go? There you are. Oh no. Oh, oh hey. So What's up, Pecker? Happy I found so you. Look, Jack got his seal back. Oh. And it opens doors. Oh Woman yeah, the one that Child Jack had. She says the catacombs are the key to the In last game. Survival. You boys up for a little ride? Hmm, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, I cannot control this. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Dude, it's the fucking. Oh. Okay. It's the, um. It's the Sonic. Only this is. Where with Sonic, there's like gravity to it. This is just like going. Hold on, I might have this work thing. Choices are good, especially when it comes to college. L Lowell is pronounced low L, not low L. What? I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand. I I usually just go Lowell, but I guess it's low L. That's my favorite part. That in the la 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 la. That guy does have a really good voice. Oh, yeah, that's from like the '60s or '70s. Dude, a lot of music. Yeah, Harold's still around. The nervous old guy at the laptop. There, there's that card in Oath. Of him. Uh, that's a good question. He knows about the moon for sure. <laughs> um, but it's called Harold, like fucking H E R A L D. And it, the picture is basically him at a desk with like a piece, like a s open scroll that looks like the laptop. Oh, I can shoot! I can shoot! Oh jeez. Oh, the physics on the shooting is weird. Oh. I wish I'd been streaming when I did that. The other night I did we were watching like some meme compilation or something. And somebody like wiped out hard and I, I just on instinct did like a perfect Minecraft death sound. I think it's pretty good closure. Yo, yo, next time you're at like a party or something, just run up to everybody and say, Do your best Minecraft Villager sound. Boy, I make sure to do uh, every few days around here. Keep everybody on their toes. Look at this, if you go like any amount of tilt, it like loops around and just fail the circle. Pretty sick. Well, yeah. I think the first time I heard about this Kirby and the Bullet thing was like an Always Sunny ad. Oh, jeez. Where they're like, cur cur they're like throwing darts. He's like, puts his hand in front of the dartboard and he's like, curve it. And then like shows it like, oh, it's curving. And it just slams straight into his hand. <laughs> that was the thing. Did you ever see Wanted? Have you seen it, Corey? Yeah, it's not great, but... Yeah, it's fun. It's not bad, it's just, it's like a real, like, dumb action movie, basically. Like, the idea of curving bullet is so freaking stupid, but like... It's one of those things where it's so stupid in an awesome way. Um, but the whole thing is he can't do it, and then Angelina Jolie is just like, Here, I'll give you some motivation, and she stands in front of the target. <laughs> And he does it. Those are sick car stunts. Yeah, it's in that one, uh, Red, the Blue Souls one. Oh yeah, Spies in Disguise. 
I never saw that. You don't need to see that, honestly, it doesn't look that good. That was in the weird trend at the time of cool movie with a uh, anime movie with a black main character who seemed really cool, and within the first act they turn into some other non-human character, and it's like, eh, this is fine. What the hell? I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I guess. This is pretty fun. It's like uh, Tempest kind of. It's like no, because it feels again. It's like it feels fair. That's the thing that pisses me off about the the platforming in these games. Is it never feels fair. It always feels like it's because of the fucking controls being shit. I don't even know what I hit there. And like, yeah, the platforming controls are better in this one. It's just it's still so goddamn heavy. Like, look, I got used to the first one. I just, my, my, I, I just, it was the big disconnect between how light and bouncy the animation is and how actually heavy it feels. No. Cause like we'll do. I honestly don't either. I like Mario three and onward. And Mario, I mean, I like Mario two. It's like a totally different game. But like the original Mario Brothers, honestly, doesn't control very well. It's like super heavy. It's like really slippery. Dude. That's fair, I'm mostly used to the uh, Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie just controlled better in general, though. It's really. But you can do little flappies, correct your course. Oh, you don't like doing little flappies? That's true, but Spyro has really good control. Um, Hat in Time, I think, is my current bulwark for great platforming controls. It's, yeah. It's, miss it's missing some polish, I think. Like, the, the controls are really polished. The characters and everything pretty polished, but like, yeah, the models feel like a little too, like, I don't know, they, they feel like they could use a little more smoothing, maybe like a, a different texture, or go the opposite way, make it like really polygonal, like friggin' uh, Puppet Kungo, which I think there's like, you can unlock that. I know for ukulele they had that, yeah, they, uh, you could get, like, one of those potions that turns everything into, like, N64 graphics. Yeah, it's cute, but also, that sucks. That's another one where it's, like, it just... It's clearly trying to use the Banjo-Kazooie controls. It's just not... It doesn't feel as good. And a lot of it comes down to... Animation. Like, you have to, it, they have to make it so that what you actually do has the same way as what you see in a consistent way. Yes, Super Lucky's Tale. Super Lucky's Tale is also pretty solid. Um, it's, it's more Conquer specifically, like, it's clearly trying to be bad, but like, this Conquer originally was supposed to be like Seven Tales or something, which was gonna be like a kid game. And then they did the thing of like, oh no, it's actually not that good, so let's just throw in a bunch of dirty jokes and maybe 
and be like, you didn't try that hard. Like, that was the move, was the, if we were just kidding. Like, yeah, I don't know how to I, it's like one of those ones where everybody's like, oh, it's like the best one. It's like, no, Banjo Kazooie is like the most technically skilled one. You shall promise Conquer, Conquer is just so mean spirited. Everybody's just like so like catty and abrasive. Really, I just, I don't like the humor. The controls are actually pretty bad. Um. The meta humor was probably funny at the time. Well, that's the thing too, is that Conquer was supposed to be like Rare's first game for the N64, but it just kept getting delayed. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not... Like, it, it, I'm sure it was revolutionary at the time, but similar to, like, Chrono Trigger, going back to that now, it feels... Uh, it, or, like, The Wall. It's like, when you go back to those things, like, they were great for the time, and they are still, in some ways, like, still pretty technically competent and everything. But they're just kind of... It's just so played out now that even though that was the first, unfortunately, loses something in association with the multitude of other less competent works it looks like some kind of old eco mine when mar built haven city he must Listen. have cut out these old caves to get at the eco chrono trigger is good i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying like it doesn't hook much. me the way it probably would have if i played it back, back. when it Watch came out cuz i played it way so later place. after i'd already played like final fantasy 7 and like um kingdom heart like i played a ton of other rpgs and stuff both action and turn-based, and the stuff Chrono Trigger d did got cribbed by a ton of other RPGs because Chrono Trigger was really good, so it was super influential. But going back to it, it feels so, like, kind of basic in comparison because it was one of the first to use a lot of those mechanics. Plus, I just generally don't have a ton of patience for turn-based RPGs. Oh, I didn't realize that didn't go all the way across. I will go back to it someday. Hello, friend? I don't want to shoot him. No. Ah! Oh, he's not a friend. No, my lizard milk. My lizard milk. God, I miss Sobe so much. It probably was horrible for you, I'm guessing. It was probably like... It, I mean, I feel like it probably just had like... It was just pure corn syrup. All that... All that dang fructose. Carrot orange. Oh yeah. It's similar to like some places you can only get G2. Yeah. Or like you can get Sobe, but it's like the crappy like water one, like Sobe Life Water or something, and I, that shit's just nasty. Oh, oh, I didn't realize this was an Elevate Toll. Gotcha. Oh. Manipul- oh. Well. <laughs> Don't I feel the fool? Uh, I think, yeah, I should probably go do my thing. Let me hit a marker there. That was pretty funny. Alright, I gotta go take a break to do a work thing, so I'll be our back in just a minute. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet, though. We'll be our back with more Jack 3 in just a minute.
That's the real mental Rubik's Cube right there. Did he get brighter? Oh, wait, I got it. Nice. Oh, they fall in such a depressing way. Just flop over themselves. What the heck? Can you believe it? There are beans. <laughs> Eat all those beans. Should get some beans. We got lots of leftover rice. Do you want some leftover rice? TNT teriyaki. Well, if they're open today, we would do them today, I guess. I mean, if you get sushi, if you get, like, the teriyaki, it's pretty good. Every single time. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's the problem with sushi. The only way to make sure it's filling is you gotta get like at least three rolls, and that's like friggin' 20 bucks. Depend on the type of roll. Well, I usually just get like an eel roll, maybe like some kind of fancier roll, but it's still it's so expensive for so little food. And it's supposed to be like cheapo street food, that's what sushi originated as. Don't do it. Cory, don't do it. Uh, oh, there it is. Up. Uppy. Let's go. Let's go, Uppy. Nice, 90 jiggly beans. God, these guys were such a pain in the last game, they're not doing nothing. <sighs> yep, this is a good one. Whoops! <laughs> It's also a little too real of a stream for how cartoony the landing is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not even half, dude. Think yeah, it's one of those ones where you gotta be you gotta be in the moment, you know? Yeah, that, that tracks. Funimation would do that. Me too. I thought he was flopping dead, but instead he was flopping alive. Baby be flops. Baby is bops. Chunk. Hey, I'm gonna get the oh. Uh, I don't like when those men start running at me. Freaking out. Yeah. So the question is now. We got we got our edition of Bunkers and Badasses, the Borderlands tabletop role playing game deluxe, and uh, Coco has approved me doing unboxing video. And I have at least one other game I gotta unbox right now. I got that Mad Science one. But 
I know that Stardew Valley is going to be here next month, and I already have so many unboxings in the pipeline, like, queued up, so it's like, do I wait so I can just get them all three done at the same time, or do I just do these ones and do Stardew on its own? Because I might be able to get some good SEO if I get the the bunkers from prior to ashes going. Yeah, I believe... Because Patrick Lee... I posted in the thing, I was like, we got our copy. I'm going to do an unboxing soon. And apparently Patrick Leader of Leader Games hasn't even gotten his copy yet, so that's pretty cool. We often get shipments pretty early. What do I... A bump? I don't know. What am I missing? Over here? There's something with you? Can I help you? Hold up. Hold up. I don't know. What should I do? Oh no! I need a lot of money! <laughs> oh, what were you referencing? Oh, I had to do a twisty on it. Had to do a twisty on it. I was referencing the Vampire Diaries point-and-click adventure game from the 90s. Based on the books. Oh. Yeah. It's like there's a point in that game where you need to, like, buy something. And it's like, so your whole thing, your goal in the point-and-click game is to, like, get a lot of money, so... <laughs> Every time you, as the main character, will, she'll just say, Oh no, I need a lot of money! But there's only like six characters you can ask, and after you ask like your aunt and your boyfriend to say no, the only options are like a groundskeeper at the graveyard, the school librarian, it's like not appropriate choices. But like, what are you, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, oh. Got a hamster it? Can I get this guy to hamster it? Breathe in. Hold on. Oh, that does not help. Um, this isn't working. I don't even know what that does. Can I... Can I get you to help, my man? Just take some friggin' flint, bro. Do be taking some flint. No idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Like I get that it's suppo I'm supposed to get this going, but I just can't move fast enough. Can't do it is dark check. Faster. Can I like can like slow it down and then when I do it, no. What do I do? That man doesn't hurt me. Did I miss something? Was there like a move that I got that like doesn't kiss me? Screw it out, screw it out. Will you help me, friend? No, you're dead. You can help me if you're dead. I need a friend to help me. Maybe I. Cool. Does that help? Come into my shield. No. Will you help me? What's up?
What do I do? You're not directing me. Oh, God damn it. Like, this guy's got to be involved in some way, right? Why won't he go in? Get in there, boy. Get in there, little man. I don't even know what I'm looking for. What am I, what am I looking for? What does this even do? It's a lower bridge. I don't see a bridge. Am I doing something wrong here? Have to get him going. Primer up. Oh. Okay. Sure. But I still haven't found. I'm baby. I'm baby, baby, baby. God, oh my god, I killed my best friend. The tiny bubbles. Oh, wait, am I supposed to. Wow? Do it? What is this? What the fuck is any of this? What am I doing? They've not given me any explanation for what this is or why I need to do it. I can tell this guy's got to be involved. I don't know how. You don't go on the hamster wheel. It's probably going to be this extending, but I don't know. I don't want that. Friend, friend, can I help you? What do you want? Bro. It, it doesn't work. I can't move fast enough. I don't have like a run. I gotta roll. But yeah, that's the fastest I can move it. it doesn't work. It's like, I need this guy to do it. But he doesn't climb in, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Dark Jack. You like Dark Jack? No. Not fast. No! I killed him again. Damn it. Yeah, it was just wrong. It's not working. He just stands there. What do I do? Every single one of my actions just kills him. What do I- what the fuck do they want me to do here? Push him in? Can't do that. What do you want from me? Bro! What is this? Whoops. Bumped the mic. Sorry. I just need better posture here. I can feel my voice getting a little too too pressurized. What do I do? What do they want me to do? It's just like they clearly want me to solve some kind of puzzle here, but I've literally done every move I got. They all just freaking kill the guy. What do I do? Buddy, why are you breathing so hard? I don't know, what's this mission called? No. Alright, I'm looking it up. I gotta look it up, I have no idea.
Ah, uh, heck. I gotta friggin' go re-upload something. All right, I'm gonna look it up. I'll be right back. Just a minute. Okay, so according to the wiki, supposed to kick him in? Do they mean spin? Oh, okay. What? What? That's how I do it? So even though all my other attacks kill him, the spin kick is good. That's, that's the one I actually want. It's so mean to begin with. God damn it, and I got another revision I gotta do. Hold on. Yeah, it's just another re-upload. I'm not even gonna pause it. BRB!
Sorry about that. Yeah, Voice Bunnies. Sorry, Bunny Studio Voice. Their servers were all junked up this morning, so I had to re upload a couple of voiceovers I did. So, okay, yeah, I guess. You're just supposed to whack him into the tube. Ow! Okay, or not. Those ones are actually mean, I guess. Wait. Let's get some of this business. Let's go for it. That was a bad idea. And then jump. They're just, that specific location is just out of it. See, this guy doesn't hurt you. You have to hurt him. Feel bad. Hmm. I guess now these guys are mean. God, it feels awful. Raised all them in. Why are you making me do this? There we go. Healing up. Get the fuck out of here. Why did the first one just stand there and not hurt me, but these ones are like super upset? Regulated. Yeah, this feels awful. It's got a rag doll on. Terrible time. I think I'm gonna finish this mission and be done. It's very close. Be done for the day. You know, haven't had a ton of viewers or anything. So my voice is feeling a little tired, so I don't want to push it. I'm hoping to get some more work later. So, plus I gotta. Some, I, I might record those unboxing. I'll probably let my voice rest for a while first. I don't know. I have a bajillion unboxings queued up to go. Um, just I got so many games for so cheap mollies. That's how my collection grew by like 20 games in the last couple months. Which, granted, had together, that's like one, one super juicy game. Um, for all those, those pretty affordable games, which are all kind of middling. I got one or two that are like, supposed to be pretty good. Airship City looks really fun. 
that. Oh. Oh, so these ones die? Why? So you gotta, like... Why are they doing that now? That's the thing that's upsetting me about this, is it feels bad to do it, but then also... They're totally changing the rules of how it works! Because the first one didn't try and attack you at all and just ran his own way over, and then the next guys you had to like smack over and they didn't die no matter how many times you hit them, and now these guys are dying and you have to... You guys have to keep things consistent! That's how video games work! Come on! Oh! Oh, sick shin pads! I'm over it though. So far, the good greatly outweighs the bad here, but I'm just, I don't know, I'm kinda crabby. Very tired, I slept very poorly last night. I woke up at like 3.30 in the morning and I just could not get back to sleep until like 6. Ugh. Yeah, sure. That's the witching hour. We were getting visited by witches. Which witch is it? <laughs> what is this device? Is that the payload from uh, Overwatch or whatever? No, I'll play Overwatch. This is pretty good. Oh. Oh, what am I doing? Let's move here. Oh, I gotta open up another spot for it. Targets, Jack. Ah, okay, I see. Thanks for telling me literally as it was too late, butthole. Get out of here, guys. You're no friends of mine. Jetboard? Oh, yeah, I gotta grind. Oh, every now and then I'm just like, I think I should go to all these, I like all these. But then I remember it's like, uh, I spend at least 30 bucks every time I go to all these, so probably shouldn't. But it's like, if they got some good deals, I'm still going back and forth because they've had sonar. Which is like the, uh... The, like... The more chill version of Captain Sonar that you can play with four people. But the thing is, because it's a team game, you have to have exactly four people. So I'm like, eh. It is, like, real good. <laughs> Ah! Ooh, that was close. This is the kind of escort mission I like because... The thing you're escorting is literally on rails, so you can easily predict where it's going. Whoops! Are you kidding? All the way back to the start of this? Aw, oh, man. Time to wickety winter board. Why don't I grind on the rails, I wonder? I got on the rails with the minecarts on. That makes sense to me. What the I hit oh, I fucking hate the grinding mechanic. It just doesn't work sometimes. Sometimes you hit it from a million miles away and it works great. And other times it just doesn't work, period. It just does not snap you to the friggin' rail. And there's no way to be precise about it because it will literally like jump you over to the side. If you got it right. I 
I don't know. I don't know what the timing is. Because it seems so random. They always have at least one segment where you have to rely on it, and it's a little ridiculous. It just doesn't goddamn work sometimes. Oops. Right down the middle. Cool. Doesn't count as giving me multiple ways to traverse areas. If one of the way, if it's clearly not designed for one of the ways, you know how far I jump on the board. So by making the platforms exactly wide enough to be just completely jumped over, it's just mean, guys. It's just mean. It makes me feel like you're bullying me. You, the designers of the fucking game. God damn it! Every fucking half the time. There's just no fucking way to predict it. Just half the time it doesn't fucking work, the grind. And there's nothing I can do about it. I just fucking have to hit the button as close as I can fucking figure. And I hope that it works out. Hit it. Fucking hit it, Jack. Dorks. Will you please? Thank you. I just have no control over that shit. It, ah! Fuck! Again, it's like... It's good when you have these assistive technologies, but like... I have to work consistently. Like, if I have... If I literally cannot aim up or down and I have to rely on Jack doing it, if I literally cannot be precise with the grinding because it's based on weird hitboxes, you have to make sure that I can do these things consistently. If I have to wrestle with the controls, I'm not having a good time. I should feel like I am controlling Jack as fluidly as if I was in the situation, not struggling just to do basic maneuvers because of how he friggin' controls for me. This. I can't control when he flips up or down. And like, I never notice until I'm in a pinch and I have to rely on it. Just how friggin' sloppy it can get. Any other time, I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. But then as soon as it's like life or death it just, for it to work, half of the time it just won't. I, I just have no control over that. It shouldn't feel like a crapshoot, you know? It should feel like I'm in control of the fucking character. Are you gonna do it, Jeff? Come on, dude! Fucking do it! There you go, Jesus Christ. Ah. There we go, I did it. Feels real anticlimactic. It's all you guys, go, go, die, die. I know patience. We go.
Oh. Okay, I mean, oh. I was gonna say, I am not a train, so that doesn't help. Any little secrets? No. Oh, jeez. Boss fight? Boss fight. The monks told me you were coming through the Precursor subrails. Interesting, aren't they? The Precursors used them to build the world countless eons ago. The rail system leads deep into the I could the count the eons. Was it five? Wait to uh, six? Unimaginable Maybe seven. powers upon the worthy. I will save the world with that power. Just as Ma did. Yeah, you've done sure, a good job so far. Letting the metalheads destroy the palace. Yo, you the the be the destroy the palace. Dear boy. We're on a time clock, Jack. That light in the sky, do you know what it is? Yes. Our nightmare has found us, and the end is coming. I I've, needed I've quick access to the catacombs below, so I attacked the palace myself. It will be our little secret. Well, you're full of surprises. And you're full of dark eco. You and your rat are oh. an abomination. But I will rid the planet of this Burn. soon enough. Pure light will rule the universe, and I will be the bright light that shines to every corner of the world and destroys all shadows! Uh, excuse me, Count Volga. Uh. It's Vega! Yeah, whatever. Isn't it kind of nice just to curl up in the shade sometimes? Just chilling it, watching the hot babes prance around in their skimpy little bikinis, you know, just... You're such a... Jiggle. I get that special You're toy such a creep, Baxter. Enough! We will stop the cleansing of the world with your demise. Behold, I now come Also, the I guess it was just never. The they implied that it was. Oh. They implied that this it was, time, um. The precursors will not have mercy on you. They implied that one of the goals of the first game was to change the extra back, but I guess we've just given up on that idea. It's alive! Yeah! Oh, jeez. Oh wow, I can't do any damage, huh? Ah, is this it? Well, that didn't work out. You did that on purpose, right? Just haven't died that many times. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Can you please do the thing? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Right. Okay, I guess I use these in some way. Oh, was that the problem? I just wasn't at the right height. Oh, you fuck, fuck off, dude! Let me you need climb. To do with those it is hard enough working this game's platforming without that bullshit. Man. Uh oh, crunch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how this works. You do free. I play video games. Son of a buttress, man. Come on, I need to lean in a way that like supports my neck. That's the frustrating thing. Oh, God damn it! About streaming out here is if I can't find a good position for my neck, my voice gets worn out so quick. Are you kidding me? Just fuck off, all of them. Why doesn't that do damage? Clearly hitting him high enough to do the same kind of thing. I guess the implication is I'm supposed to be using the blue. Why'd I use the blue when this friggin' ricochet move is so much better? Gotta wait. Wait till the pillars cool, the boy okay. get on him! Okay. 
it? Why did they all cool at the same time if they were released at different times? We need to do something with those mine cars! Got him. Cool. So yeah, keep, keep going at you. These games have a serious problem of not putting a fucking rail on places like that. Like, why? Why do you include the option for me to just walk off on accident? That doesn't add to the challenge, guys. It just makes it obnoxious. Especially when it's in a position where it's difficult to see because of the camera. You've got to consider that. For fuck's sake. This is the third game this team made, and it took, they still don't understand that putting obstacles in places where they cannot easily be seen by the camera is a bad friggin' idea! Like that! What the fuck?! It's literally taking one step back and I fall, I fall off. Horseshit. Like, genuinely, I... It would not even be challenging if it weren't for shit like that. And that's not the kind of challenge you want. You don't want it to be challenging because of being unfair. Mine yes, yes, Baxter, I fucking know, the minecarts. God, turn off his fucking voiceover after the first time I play through this bit. If you know, I've done this. You can't fucking put in the program like, hey, don't do the tutorial voiceovers after they've gotten past this point. Please, there you go. Yeah, no, I get it. You're acting like I can fucking dodge those. I can't. Shoot another mine car! Ah, <sighs> Alright, cut! Where's the director? I can't work like this. This fight sucks, dude. I'm having to just fight the camera more than I'm having to fight the actual enemy. Like, they're pretending like I have any option to dodge that crap, but there's... It's not really... And anything I can do about it. Like, I'm just going. I'm just friggin' going. Like, I'm, I'm doing the platforming. It's not really feasible for me. It's not really feasible for me to dodge whatever he's doing while I'm trying to do this stupid goddamn platform. We need to do something with those mine cars. Like, that's the problem, is that none of this is actually would actually be challenging if it weren't for the crap controls. Like, if this had decent con <coughs> decent controls and a less annoying camera, this would be dirt simple. But the only thing making it challenging is how frustrating the controls and camera are. My 
fucking god. Hold on. Jump up on the pillar! I'm literally... You can't... Shoot it in the minecart! You can't pretend. You cannot pretend. Like that was a good idea to program in that voice line. I'm literally jumping on the fucking pillars. When he says that, why would you do that? Why would you expect that to be anything other than stupid obnoxious? When I'm actively doing the thing that you are trying to instruct me to do. What the fuck is wrong with this game? There we go. Is he done? Is he done for? Cool. God damn. Same as like that second Praxis fight in the last game. It's like... Let's go topside there's nothing kind of actually challenging about the design or the things the boss does. All of the challenge comes in fighting the controls and camera. Hey, I remember these doors. I wonder if they fixed the design of this piece of crap city. Oh, these melt heads everywhere. Oh, jeez. Uh, these particular ones. Easier to do like this. Man, these would farm a lot of friggin' skull gems. Around here. Alright, well... I could just go on forever doing that, but I... I'm going to leave it at 40%. My god. I'm ripping through this. All right. Yep. Yeah, I'll leave it there for today. Come back to it on Thursday. So thank you very much for choosing Iggy Kid Twitch Streams as your streaming entertainment. I know you have a lot of e options in streaming entertainment nowadays. Appreciate you picking me. Be sure to follow, subscribe, use your Twitch Prime sub, link up your Amazon Prime account, get a free sub a month, use on me. Appreciate it, because I know you will. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, YouTube uh, Twitch Archive channel that has all of my past streams on it. Check out the Discord server. Just open a join down below. Check out the link. Um, do sound alerts, whatever you want. Use some bits on that. All that business. All right. And, uh, yeah, be sure to tune in on Thursday for more Jack 3. Uh, in the meantime, I will rate us over to someone. But, hey, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. All right. We're gonna... We're gonna... Let's see. We are going to raid over to Evil Farter. Yes, that's the one to do today. All right. Let me... Let me get the raid going. All right. Lem's no I sent you. Have a great time with that. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, your Wednesday. See you all on Thursday. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.